Aloha, aloha, aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very happy to be joining you today. Uh, it is a Monday, and it is March the 5th. How quickly March is moving through. Very surprised, actually, <laughs> that it's the fifth day of March as I look at the date. <clears throat> In my line of work, it's very hard to keep track of time. Literally, during the week, I'm like, what day is today? Maybe your life is so busy as well. But uh, regardless, I'm very grateful to be connecting with you today on this live stream. I did not get a chance to pre-post, so for all those that are wondering what we're going to be covering today, I decided I'm going to allow Master Shah uh, to use his own voice to teach you. He has uh, quite a few books that he has put into audiobook format. And today we're going to be listening to some of his wisdom on the ego, along with some wisdom and practices to transform that. So that's what you can expect. And there's truly nothing higher than the master's voice and the master's power. Uh, so I'm happy to receive his blessings as well. <clears throat> so how was your weekend? Hopefully it was exciting. Hopefully it was valuable um, and worthy of good memories. Mine was uh, quite busy, actually. I was doing a lot of preparation for an um, uh, event that is happening over the next two days. So... Uh, I have to inform all of you. I'll remind you towards the end also. I will not be here tomorrow and Wednesday. Um, I have preparation for a business that I'm supporting my wife with. She's got a a, um, a mobile restaurant kind of business. And uh, it's our first go at it. And so it takes quite a bit of preparation because it is our first go at it. Um, hopefully it won't take near as much time moving forward. But um, this first event we're doing should be a big one. So... I apologize, but I will not be here the next two days. I expect to be back on Thursday, though. So thank you all for joining. Let's see who's joined me so far today. <clears throat> welcome, Sherry. Welcome, Bari. Welcome, Angela. Uh, welcome, Jen Christie and Dakota. Aloha, Yolanda. And aloha also to Carla. Welcome to Michelle Collins, Janice Crosby-Smith. Welcome, Stacy, uh, Kalina Stinson. Welcome. And aloha, Kristen. Welcome also to Heather McNee, Star Web, Ben. Welcome, Ben. Welcome also to Jamie Varga and Richie Souter, uh, Taryn Vick, Selena, Brennan Brennan, Maria Joy. Welcome. Aloha, Paula Hyatt. Welcome also to Dimple. Uh, welcome to Marianne Melvin and M.A. Drade. If I missed you, forgive me. Um, I see about four or five new folks here. Sometimes Facebook just says, hey, this person's going live. We may or may not have communicated or not, but I encourage you to stick around. Um, this would be good wisdom today. And uh, it's one of those, it's actually a new experience for me. Normally I do with the talking and the sharing of the wisdom and use one of Master Shah's books, um, which for those of you that are not familiar, this is Master Shah. And actually be working from this book today called Dao Song Dao Dance. Um, I'll show it to you again. And um, but I'm using the audiobook. And one of the great values of the audiobooks is that it's in Master Shah's voice, so it carries the um, the Shen Qi and Jing, the the soul energy and matter, uh, and the frequencies of this being. For those that are new, wondering who is Master Shah, uh, he is a world-renowned healer. He has well over a million people. He has offered direct blessings to uh, in groups and other formats over the last 20 years. And there's plenty, plenty, plenty of um, validation of the efficacy of his uh, healing abilities. And so he has a following worldwide in over six continents. And basically his mission is to bring love and peace and harmony to humanity and empower us, us to heal ourselves because he's very clear that he cannot bring healing to all seven billion people. So he put the healing wisdom in his books and his audio book like you hear today. <clears throat> and um, and he's transferred the wisdom and um, extraordinary miracle level power, healing power, to individuals. Um, so the name Master Paul is, simply has the word master in front of my name. That represents I went through about nine years of uh, growth and uh, education and have also received healing abilities to serve you better. That's really all it means. It's just a label that says I have some education behind me. So... Um, Today, that's what you can expect for anybody new. Uh, welcome also to, um, let's see, I think we've got everybody, Dan Atkinson, Diana Victoria, and Sharon Saxby, welcome. 
please forgive me again if I missed your name. And thank you for clicking on the share button, letting other people know about this live stream. Welcome, Nicole Talish. Welcome, Kristen Strachan. So uh, again, for those that are new, we have a pattern. I've been doing this for almost a couple years now. Kristen Rojas is my right hand. She does an excellent job supporting me, and you can also find posts. Uh, the things I talk about, look at, look at her posts, and you'll see um, information like on this, what we're going to do next, which is the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. And we always chant it to connect heart to heart, soul to soul, to make a difference in the world. So let us place our hands in a hand mudra position, soul light, soul service hand position. Drop the left hand in front of the heart center of the right hand. Gently remain pointed towards heaven. Close your eyes and I will invite in the beings of light. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of divine Tao source, all heavens, angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, saints, buddhas and bodhisattvas, all heavens, animals, we invite beloved Jesus and Mother Mary. We invite beloved Naomi Tofu and beloved Kuan Yin. We invite our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. We invite the soul of beloved Mother Earth, the sun, and the moon, the soul of all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, serving the planet of the light side. We deeply honor, respect you, and I bow my head to each and every one of you. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to call upon you and ask, as appropriate, for you to please join us today to offer your wisdom, your guidance, and your blessings through uh, whatever is trans transmitted today, including Master Shaw's audio books. We are extremely grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They are the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, we honor you, respect you. We ask you most humbly and sincerely to please turn on, and we invite all souls in all universes to come, to join, to chant with us, to bring love, peace, and harmony. So again, for those that are new, uh, you'll see the posting in Kristen uh, Rojas' chat for the words. And you can also download this music complimentary. The copyright has been removed, and it is asked that you share it far and wide. It's actually been translated in over 40 languages. So let us join, let us serve. One round of this mantra. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo shen her ling, wo ai tran ran li, wang li hing rong er mu shir shang. Xiong ai ping on her xie, Xiong ai ping on her xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you again, everyone, for joining. Thank you for clicking the share button. Welcome also to Lisa Carter, to Crystal, and welcome Don Robinson. So today, uh, we're going to listen to some wisdom from Master Shah. Now, I'll give you a little preface. Uh, this book is what we'll be listening to. He has, with about uh, eight of his books, made audiobooks. It actually takes quite a bit of time to speak 187 pages of words. Uh, for most people, they can only speak about you know three or four hours at a time. Uh, for Master Shah, he pounded these out in a, in a period of about two weeks. Not easy to do. And he delivers in his uh, books and his audiobooks what's called transmissions. I have not listened to the 10 um, uh, sub pieces of what you're going to hear. They're about two or three minutes each. Uh, so I don't actually know if he's going to be delivering a transmission in this or not. Um, I just followed guidance and went to a specific area, and we're going to listen to that together. And But I do recommend, this is one of my favorite books. Right now I'm teaching... Um, a 
Awakened Spiritual Channels course. Uh, I'm into week six now, so halfway through it. It's a 12-week program. And in that program, I use a lot of this book. I'd say I use about 60% of the information in this book because it focuses on chakras and it focuses on energy centers, uh, how to open your spiritual channels. That's what this book focuses on. He, it's called Tao Song, Tao Dance, because Tao is a word that represents the source, the creation of all things from which all things come. It's another word. Some people use God. It doesn't matter. Don't square your head. Uh, and Tao Song, Tao Dance, uh, the reason it's labeled that is because he uses uh, the power of mantra, which is song, and Tao movement, which he refers to as Tao dance, to release the vertical and the horizontal blockages that happen at the, uh, at the level of soul. So you can learn more by picking up the book if you desire. Um, for those that are on the go a lot, drive a lot, uh, don't really have time to read, but like to get the wisdom from books, pick up his audiobook. You might like it. So we're going to listen to this together. Um, it's going to be a little bit meditative. Uh, what I mean by that is close your eyes, because that's what I'll be doing. I'll be listening. And so anybody that kind of pops in, they're going to be like, why is this guy's eye closed? He's not talking. But that's for them that came in late. So that's what you can expect. Um, I will, uh, let's see, can you see that? You can't, so. Okay, so prepare yourself. Everybody sit up straight. Back away from the back of the chair if it's comfortable for you. If it's not, don't worry about it. This is a posture that I'll be walking you through that allows you to receive the greatest wisdom and blessings. You can gently um, place your tongue at the roof of your mouth. I like resting mine right where my teeth uh, touches my gums at the roof of my mouth. It's very easy to relax it there without much um, effort. And um, bring your thoughts, your mind, and your breath into your lower abdomen. So when we, in Master Shah's teachings, we receive vest when our mind is in our jong. The jong means the core. And in Master Shah's wisdom and teachings, the core represents the back half of the lower abdomen. So from your, the middle of your body, where your belly button is, go to the middle of your body, go straight down to the middle of your torso, and then straight back to that dip in your back. That entire back half of your body, uh, imagine a, a round ball in there. There's, I just thought, thought on this last week, if you want to go back to last week's teaching, hey, hung, hung, ha. And that wisdom taught significantly about the jong and the core and how we can empower this area. So just by focusing here, when we receive this wisdom through this audiobook, we can receive significant benefits. Okay. So welcome to Kathleen Monahan, welcome Janine, welcome also to uh, Tatiana, uh, Missy Dodd, and welcome Jim. So let us enjoy and listen to this wisdom from Master Shah. Uh, hopefully it'll be loud enough for you. The next practice is to transform and remove ego. Close your eyes and On relax. one's spiritual journey, Receive ego the wisdom. is another major blockage. I have taught thousands of spiritual seekers in the last few years, I train them to open their spiritual channels. When they can talk with the divine to receive divine guidance, and when they can offer divine healing with a great result, this is easy for them to have ego because they feel they are special. In the physical world, the most successful people in every profession generally have worked harder to attain their success. They have done serious study, research, practice, creation, and manifestation. They then make major contributions in their fields and receive great respect from society and from people worldwide. Such people could also think they are special and easily gain ego if they do not have a pure soul, heart, and mind. When you are successful, it is easy to have ego. Ego is a very common issue for humanity. In fact, successful people are special. But if you have achieved success in any aspect of your profession or life, do not forget that the path to your success have received guidance from the spiritual world and the blessings from heaven and the divine. 
remember also all the people who work with you and all the people around you. Their support and their contributions also help make you successful. Think about it. Without the inspiration and the blessings from the spiritual world, heaven and the divine, without support and contributions from the people you work with, could you have attained the success you have? If you have total gratitude to heaven and to all the teachers and other people who prepared you in every aspect of your life to become special, then you will feel humble. What you have achieved is special, but it could be much better. There are countless wisdoms and unlimited abilities in the universe. Regardless of how successful you are, you definitely can do much better. If you hold this kind of attitude with humbleness and gratitude, you will prevent ego and remove the ego you have. Think about 5,000 years of recorded history. Every part of human's life has developed step by step up to now. Science is still developing. Human wisdom is still developing. Human intelligence is still developing. Human abilities to create and manifest are developing. Every aspect of life is developing and can develop further. Ego will block your development. Removing ego is vital for improving every aspect of your life. When you have ego on your spiritual journey, the uplifting of your spiritual standing will be blocked. Your progress in gaining higher spiritual abilities will be blocked. If you are a spiritual being, think about what the divine can do. Think about divine creation and manifestation. Then think about what we can do. What the divine can do is an ocean. What we can do is like one drop of water in the ocean. Humbleness will be produced in your heart right away. What reason do we have to show any ego? Our success has been supported and nurtured by many, many people. Our success is given by the divine. Our success is blessed by heaven. What happens in our lives comes from the creation and the manifestation of the divine. When you can understand and appreciate this, it will really help you remove ego. Ego comes from impurities of your soul, heart, and mind. To purify your soul, heart, and mind is to remove ego. The divine soul son God gave his heart to me is a powerful divine treasure to remove your ego. The divine frequency and the vibration with the divine love forgiveness, compassion, and light within this soul sound could transform your ego very quickly. Practice it. Benefit from it. Remove your ego as soon as possible. Join me now in applying this divine soul sound to remove ego. Dear soul, mind, and body of divine soul sound, God gives his heart to me. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Please purify my soul, heart, mind, and body to remove ego and prevent ego. I am very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Then sing or chant the words of God, give his heart to me, with me now. Lu la lu. Give his heart to me. 
God give his love to me, my heart melts with his heart, my love melts with his love. After singing, close in the usual way. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How does this practice work? Every land you sing, the divine's heart and the divine's love are purifying your soul, heart, mind, and body. Every line you sing, divine frequency and divine vibration are transforming your frequency and vibration. Your thoughts, behavior, and activities will be transformed by the divine heart and love. Ego will be removed. The bigger your ego, the more you need to sing or chant. A divine treasure to remove your ego is here now. Sing or chant. Apply the divine treasure to transform your ego. If you do not practice, you will not receive the benefits of soul transformation of your ego. Millions of people worldwide desire life transformation. They want to transform their relationships and finances. They want to transform their health. They want to be happier. This audiobook delivers divine treasures to transform every aspect of your life. Be aware of these treasures. Grab these treasures. Do not ignore them. Really practice with them. The benefits could totally shock you. I always repeat this ancient statement. If you want to know if a pear is sweet, taste it. If you want to know whether divine soul sound are powerful for transforming your life, experience that. This is not difficult to understand. A divine soul sound carries divine frequency and vibration. Divine love, forgiveness, compassion, and light can remove blockages in any aspect of your life. Divine treasures are waiting for you to use them. Just do it. Life transformation will follow. If you do not do it, you will not receive the result that you could receive easily. For thousands of years, singing or chanting has been one of the most powerful spiritual practices for life transformation. Singing or chanting a divine soul song is a divine singing or chanting. It carries divine power. It really is very simple. It may be too simple to believe, but in the last several years, thousands of heart touching and the moving stories have convinced me deeply that the divine treasures are beyond any word, any thought, any imagination, and any comprehension. Realize the power of divine treasures. What you need to do is to use them. Only by using them will you receive their benefits. I wish you will receive all kinds of benefits by applying divine soul songs to transform every aspect of your life. I wish you great success in removing mindset, ego, and attachment. I wish you great success in your spiritual journey. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Master Shah for that great wisdom. Wasn't that amazing? It's always great to hear directly the master's voice and the master's wisdom. You know, I regurgitate it in, in, in my human terms and try to bring it to our real world conditions, but it's not quite the same as when you hear it directly from the master. And you can read the books also, but we tend to read in our own voice. But when you hear it in Master Shah's voice, uh, it is significant. And so uh, we'll move to the next part of this. But first, I want to welcome 
uh, Judy Parker. Welcome Sharon Dodd. Welcome Christina Thorson. Welcome Thweba. Uh, welcome also Amy Hugerick and Lisa Patterson. Welcome to uh, Michelle Harness, Susan Birchmore. Welcome Danta, Tali Ayers. Welcome Christina Dacus. And um, welcome also to Shelly Maritzia and Luna. And welcome to uh, Lisa Zarniak. And thank you everybody for coming. Hopefully you enjoyed that little clip. That was from chapter four of the Tao Song Tao Dance Book with Master Shah. And so what we're going to do is we're going to actually incorporate what he suggested. Now, prior to that, though, let me see. See if I can. He was talking about pay attention to the transmissions that are in this book. Many of you have received transmissions. Many of you may have not. So what I will do is I will deliver one transmission from his book, and then we will practice with the song that he suggested, which is God Gives His Heart to Me. And that is actually the second song. Uh, Lula Lula Li, Love, Peace, and Harmony, was the first song that Master Shah received divinely. Um, and then the second song was God Gives His Heart to Me. You heard him sing it without music. Uh, since then, uh, he has uh, had it placed with professional music, and it's very, very, uh, very, very healing. So we will do a meditation and practice with that. So if you would like to receive one of the transmissions, there are over 40 transmissions in this book. So it would be wise, in my uh, humble opinion, for you to get this for yourself. Because the transmission, I was describing this the other day to my students on my Open Spiritual Channels class. I tried to explain to them that um, to receive a transmission of a jindan, which is a two-inch sized light ball um, from heaven, is extraordinary. You know, people can receive kundalinis and third eyes and heart centers and so many other transmissions from a master teacher like myself. Uh, there are other master teachers. I'm one of them that have been given the authority. Thank you, Master Shaw, for to do that. The point is, when I was explaining this to the students, I said it would take the average student several hundred lifetimes chanting six hours a day on a mountaintop. Uh, to serve humanity with your eyes closed, focusing and gathering light from all the universes to build this light bulb, build it, build it, grow it, grow it, build it, build it. For 60 years, six hours a day, that's one lifetime. You'd have to do it hundreds of lifetimes to get a two-inch sized golden light bulb that literally will be delivered to you now through this book. And those with their third eye, uh, they're, they're clear. They'll, they'll actually see that happen. Uh, for those without third eye, we have to trust and you can feel it though so if you opened up your your channels enough to feel energies you'll be able to feel it as well so we will use this to practice with uh not only today remember this is a permanent transmission if it's something you want to receive you can certainly say no i'm not interested um but it's not just a one time one-off thing you can use it to bless your children you can use it to bless yourself later today you can use it to bless your co-workers or your boss or your mother that lives in belgium you can use it to bless anybody, anywhere, because it is a divine treasure that carries divine power. Therefore, it's not limited by your mind and, and our time and space. It can go anywhere and deliver uh, per your request. So do know that it's that extraordinary. So if you would like to receive, then uh, you don't need to type it in or tell me. Just tell heaven, uh, and then I will deliver. If you're not interested in receiving this now, you can receive it later by either coming back to the video and changing your mind, or you can go buy the book and download it to yourself by reading the book. Okay, So this uh, is a golden light ball and golden liquid spring, which is yin and yang, of Tao compassion. So what is Tao compassion? It's source compassion. It's creator compassion. It's much, much higher frequency than your compassion, my compassion. And it carries the ability to transform life. So prepare to receive. Dao order through the authority given to me as a master teacher to transmit from Master Shah's books his transmissions to all those watching today, all those watching in the future, all those listening on podcasts now and in the future. 
as appropriate, prepare, Tao order, Tao golden light ball, and golden liquid spring of Tao compassion, soul, mind, body transplants for this request as appropriate. The transmission. Dao order. Join Dao compassion. So my body transplants as one. Transmission. Turn on 24 7. Transmission. You are all very, very blessed. Very, very blessed. Some of you may have felt something. Some of you may have seen something. You can report that if you have. Some people like to know, whoa, what is this? What, what Am I getting something? What did I see? What did anybody see? Welcome, Monica, and welcome, Monica's mama, my mama. Um, welcome uh, to Jamie Vargas. Welcome, Ivana. Welcome also, Isabel and Wes. Thank you for joining. So we are going to work now with this transmission and any others that we have. Uh, many have been following uh, these live streams and or Master Shaw and you've received many transmissions each one of these light balls when gathered together make a much bigger more powerful light ball and we can use that to bring transformation today we're focusing on ego and it can show up in any area of our life and so you don't have to pick a specific area you can just ask this to transform ego we're also I'm going to play uh, the song Master Shaw referred to now it's called the source song of God gives his heart to me and you will actually hear the musical version of it so I believe you will enjoy that okay so we're gonna first gonna um, connect so please as appropriate and if comfortable repeat after me placing your hands in soul light soul service hand position again remember this hand mudra connects heaven to your heart center let's close our eyes and if comfortable please repeat after me dear my beloved divine creator all the beings of light who are present my individual heavens team guides angels and saints dear my own soul I love you all deeply appreciate you could you please bless me to release blockages related to ego so that I can be more humble and a better uh, person thank you dear all souls in humanity all souls in all time in all universes if I or my ancestors have ever harmed you as a result of ego, pompousness, self-righteousness, the need to be right, or in any other form in which I was authoritarian, um, disrespectful, a lack of honor, uh, communicating in a way that was not honoring of your position. If I or my ancestors have ever brought physical suffering to you because of ego responses. If I or my ancestors have ever brought emotional suffering to you because of ego actions and responses. If I or my ancestors have ever harmed your mental state of mind because of our mental state of mind and ego. I sincerely, sincerely apologize. Please forgive me. I forgive all souls in all time who have ever harmed me physically, emotionally, mentally, or otherwise through ego. I deeply apologize. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for receiving my unconditional forgiveness. Continue. Dear all my downloads and treasures, including the divine golden light ball and golden liquid spring of Tao compassion, please turn off. Please radiate your greatest light and bless and remove ego blockages that are with my soul. I am extremely grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so now I will play the music. This is, uh, this is meditative. So just kind of go into the music. Receive the blessings. You can silently, with your mind in your lower abdomen, visualize uh, humbleness. You know, bowing your head to the to the divine Creator, bowing your head to uh, to your soul, to your heavens, teams, to Jesus, to Buddha. But when we bow our head in a place of gratitude for all that we have, 
we can receive more. We must serve with the more that we receive, but this is the wisdom. Okay, so let us enjoy the music. Meditate. Receive.
Master Shah, thank you, Divine, for giving Master Shah those words for that song. Very beautiful, huh? A lot of people don't know, actually, that um, Master Shah works with a man in China. His name is Zhang, Master Zhang. Uh, Master Zhang is uh, actually a quite famous musician in China and happens to be married to Master Shah's sister, so that helps. But uh, he he is the kind of person that can lead orchestras if needed plays many many uh, uh, instruments and when master Shah receives um, songs uh, and mantras he likes to put them into music so that it helps us to listen to them again and again which builds our energy centers and boosts our power and everything else and uh, um, it's very difficult actually to to put words to the music that Master Shah brings because it's not like a, um, it's not like a, a rock and roll song or something like that where 
you have a drum beat and a back beat and, and, and a three, two tempo or anything like that. It's very much not that. Uh, and so he'll come, he'll come up with a, a flow and an ebb and then he'll give the words to the musician who then has to build this entire music piece around it. Um, very, very difficult. And so what Master Shah does is he transmits to Master Zhang, the magician, uh, heavens, what heaven wants for that music. And I tell you, some of the music is just breathtaking. It's so, so, so beautiful. And Master Shah did a soul reading once for those that uh, are interested. And uh, he, his reading was that Master John was, in a previous lifetime, Beethoven. So interesting uh, backdrop for this uh, meditation today. So thank you for uh, the sharing you did on when the transmission came. One person said they saw a pyramid. Uh, spinning and I inside the pyramid other people saw light and felt a lot of intensity with the blessing and So this song God gives his heart to me. Uh, I believe it's it's out there uh, in In the uh, iTunes and Apple's you can download it that way. Of course, you can get it through Master Shah's um, website in the store area um, It's called God gives his heart to me. I just thought any of his music is amazing. And that was the second one that he received. The first one was Lula Lula Li, and the second one was this. And he receives it in Mandarin Chinese. Excuse me, in um, in the uh, soul language first. Lula Lula Li, Lula, that's soul language. And so he received this in soul language, and then he asked Kevin, can I please have this soul language translated to Mandarin Chinese? And he did, and then he translated to English, which is God gives his heart to me. So it's interesting. It's it's a very different way to receive music in soul language first, and then get that translated into a, his native tongue, and then we translate it into English. It's not the other way around. We would think that that's an English-based song. No, the other way around. It starts with soul language. So this is just one method in which we can receive ongoing and daily healing. And Kristen has posted uh, information on how to get that CD if you're interested. Um, the beautiful thing about Master Shah is that he he's dedicated his entire life to serve humanity. Um, literally, he has three children, and he did not see any of them grow up. He wanted to, but he his dedication was to serve humanity. And you'll know that if you read the first uh, few pages in every book, because he repeats the same thing. I'm here to, to serve humanity and all souls and all universes. And he was asked to go around the world, of which he did about 11 and a half months of each year for basically 18 years. Only now is he starting to spend any time with his children. They're basically all graduated. Um, but that's the person who's dedicated to serve. He served over a million people, documented, but he can't serve seven billion one at a time. So he's put things like this music, things like this transmission that I sent you from this book, things like um, all the wisdom that he's placed in his books, tv.drshaw.com. He's enlisted master teachers like myself to connect you through any medium possible, in this case Facebook, to spread the wisdom that you can heal yourself, that soul is the boss, that when you heal everything at the level of soul, there is nothing in your life that can't transform. Personally, I resonate with that message. It's changed my life, and I'm happy to be a spokesperson for it because I've seen it change other people's lives. So I wish to offer my gratitude for your presence today. I encourage you to learn more about Master Shaw. Uh, go and keep the tv.drshaw.com playing on your, on your computer all the time. You'll get great wisdom. He's always on there talking. Uh, and then other masters go on live, you know, probably three or four times a day. There's a live, live event on there. The rest of it's recorded, and it's awesome. Um, as a reminder, the next two days, Tuesday and Wednesday, <clears throat> I will not be here on this live stream channel. Uh, I'm working to get my wife out of out of her one and a half, two jobs into one that uh, is something that we make our own money instead of working for somebody else. And in this case, it's a uh, farmer's market slash catering restaurant business. And that takes time and it takes energy. And our first big gig is Wednesday and we need all day tomorrow to prepare. So this may... Um, may be something that interrupts the consistency of my two o'clock flow uh, once in a while but I'll do my best to to be present to you whenever possible I may be at some point in time for us to change the time uh, from a two o'clock 
Hawaii time, which is what it is when I start, to a different time, but I will still continue to serve you as much as I can. So I want to thank everybody for coming. I want to thank you all for sharing this live stream. If you came in late, please go back, watch from the beginning. Lots of good stuff. And also thank you, Kristen, for posting these links for everyone to follow. So love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you on Thursday. Have a great morning, evening, or afternoon. Bye-bye, everybody.